throughout almost the entire history of architecture. An architect was someone who knows how to draw. Most entry exams to the Faculty of Architecture still have manual drawing. But I'm not talking about freehand drawing here. I will talk about drafting or technical drawing. An architectural drawing is something everybody associates with architecture. Even laymen are used to look at plans of apartments and houses in two dimensions. When you do that, the parts of your brain in charge for spatial cognition will help you transform this 2D drawing into some form of a 3D visualization in your brain. But one has to ask a simple question. With the rise of 3D and photorealistic visualization, virtual reality, augmented reality, why do you need to do this dance? Why not cut the middleman? I will try to come up with some possible arguments for 2D drawings and try to explain why none of those arguments hold water. Then I will try to explain how we must transition to a purely 3D world, because in that way we will stop wasting time and be much more efficient, and we will be able to build much more geometrically complex objects without the headaches that the drafting imposes on us. If I ask you to give me some reason for creating 2D drawings, you might say, it is easier to draw in 2D than in 3D. Yes, that was the case in the old days when people didn't even create a 3D model except for the physical one. Houses were built based only on 2D sections and plans. That is not the case anymore. Now we usually immediately build the 3D model of the entire object and then use that to produce 2D drawings so that we could use those drawings to build a 3D building. Does this seem logical to you? You could say we need to file the building somehow. All the people working in the bureaucratic machinery throughout the world need to store and save your project. And you know how it is done with the big A0 papers and the folding and the big drawers. Hopefully we will very soon give trees a break and stop using paper. We do not need to use a single paper to build a building, except for sketching if you prefer to do it in an analog manner. But the digital files are still mostly 2D as well. Why is that the case? Imagine if I gave you a 3D model of your house and I'm talking about a complete 3D model where every single bolt, every single screw, every single doorknob is modeled enumerated, tagged, with every information that you might need about material, manufacturer, purchase price, whatever you can think of. Now why do you need then 700 2D sections and plans when you can open this 3D model, zoom in to any part of the building you want, rotate, separate elements, extract information, geometry, volume, surface, whatever you need on your tablet, monitor, or in virtual or augmented reality. All that with one single file instead of hundreds of drawings with convoluted codes and numberings. Now you might say how in 2D you can easily see dimensions and understand them. Bad argument. You can draw dimensions in 3D as well. And why do you need dimensions? So that you can understand and feel the space. Again, cut the middleman. You want to feel the space? Put your VR goggles on and you will feel what 4 or 5 meters is without the need to visualize it using your brain power. Now you might say 3D is complicated to understand, laymen still need 2D. Really? Are we living in a flatland? Because the last time I checked I was not surrounded with lines of different lengths, but with objects that have length, width and height. Do you understand this or this more easily? It makes no sense that you need to turn a 3D representation into a 2D drawing so that you could understand how the 3D representation looks like in real life. It looks exactly like that, indistinguishable. Look, we as architects always start with sketches and for a while until the AI takes over we will continue doing that. But today we immediately turn those sketches into 3D models and then we use an enormous amount of time and effort to produce sections, plans, details, an enormous amount of time. And then we move on to production. This step is completely and utterly unnecessary. Today we are fully equipped to go from the model to the machine. Elements can go directly to the CNC machine or to a 3D printer. There is no reason to spend days and days drawing them, putting descriptions and dimensions. No. You might think you would need them at the construction site. But that would be a repetition of the same argument from before. Go to the person at the construction site. Take that huge stack of A0 plans from them and give them a tablet and AR goggles. Since they have a 3D model of the building, they can zoom in and see exactly how their construction site should look like. It's a simple game of finding the differences. And with AR goggles, it's even more fun. You will be able to see in real time if something at your construction site is not overlapping quite well with your 3D model. And the beautiful thing is that we can introduce the fourth dimension as well. 
time, we can easily make animations that show the full process of construction, whether it is reinforcement or piping or connection of different elements. We will eliminate the possibility for mistakes and make the building process much easier, faster, cheaper and safer, and very soon fully automated. When we were at a conference in Brazil last year, I reminded Tobias Waliza from the Lava Architects here in Stuttgart about his lecture from, I think, 10 years ago when he was describing his struggles as he was working in UN Studio leading the project of uh, the Mercedes-Benz Museum, also here in Stuttgart. And if you know the building, you know how ridiculous it is to have 2D sections or plans of it. You cannot find a 90 degree angle anywhere, and you would need to make 2D plans every 5 cm in order to use them for construction. He explained his frustration and how this has to change. Here we are in 2018, and not so much has changed. Well, it's finally time. Drafting is boring, repetitive, time-consuming and unnecessary. And you all know those annoying architects that see drafts almost as their art projects, and will always tell you to make this line a little bit thinner, no a little bit thicker, no a little bit thinner again. Can you make this slightly less green? Change the font, please. Bit larger, bit larger, smaller, and so on and on for weeks, wasting time for something that you should not be doing in the first place. Your job as an architect is not to draw a plan, it is to build a building. The coolest building you can build with the smallest amount of effort and time. Build. Have you forgotten that? Please subscribe, share, support, stop and think what you're doing and explain to people that drafting is antiquated and unnecessary. Stay free.